The Flash movie has a post-credits scene setting up an upcoming movie in the DC Extended Universe franchise. We break down what it means. Warner Brothers. Discovery and DC Studios The Flash has a post-credits scene setting up a future movie in the DC Extended Universe. Since DC Studios co-CEO James Gunn said the Flash movie will reset the universe ahead of the franchise's soft relaunch as the DC Universe, it's been expected the film will pave the way for the new chapter. Certain changes reflective of the new DC Universe's plan were made to the Flash well before release, with it being reported a Henry Cavill Superman cameo was cut, likely due to Gunn's plan of recasting Clark Kent for his Superman legacy movie. Though Cavill's Superman does appear in The Flash, it's not in a significant capacity. Instead, the Flash movie ending is focused on setting the stage for DC Studios' soft relaunch of the franchise and teasing an upcoming movie. Now, we break down the Flash post-credits scene and what it means for the future of the DC Universe. The Flash movie has one post-credits scene at the very end of the DC movie. Although it's become a trend for superhero movies to include two credits scenes, one at the midpoint and one at the very end. The Flash only has one credits scene. Audiences wanting to catch the post-credits scene will need to stick around through the entirety of the credits and wait for the very end for the final button on The Flash. The Flash post-credits scene is worth waiting for if audiences are curious about where the DC Universe is headed, or if audiences are unsure about what DC movies are upcoming. While a movie's credits are always worth watching to get an idea of everyone involved in the making of a film, the Flash post-credits scene also works to set up a future DC movie, and confirms that film's story takes place in the same continuity as The Flash. As such, it's worth sticking around to get an idea about the future of the franchise. That said, those hoping for the surprising reveal of a new DC actor or whether it be Gunn's new Superman or the new Bruce Wayne for the brave and the bold it should temper their expectations. The Flash post-credits scene focuses on only one upcoming DC movie one that was part of the original Zeus Slade prior to DC Studios being launched. As a result, it sets the stage for one of the already planned upcoming Zeus movies, rather than any of the films set to release as part of the relaunched DC Universe. So while the Flash post-credits scene sets up a future movie, audiences should keep their expectations tempered. The Flash post-credits scene features Barry Allen, Ezra Miller, and Arthur Curry aka Aquaman, Jason Momoa. Exiting a bar, though Barry doesn't appear drunk as a result of his powers. Momo is Aquaman, on the other hand, is properly drunk, and their conversation is about Barry's adventures with alternate timelines. He explains to Arthur that there are multiple Batemen, and Arthur asks if there are other versions of him. Barry tells him he's the same furry, friendly guy in every universe a reference to how Arthur Curry was a dog in the alternate timeline. Aquaman ends up falling down on the sidewalk and landing in a puddle, where he briefly breathes underwater. He is so drunk he refuses to get up, despite my Barry protesting that they're right in front of his apartment. Instead, Arthur gives Barry one of his rings, which Barry presumes is an Atlantean artifact, and tells the Flash to go buy more beer. With all talk of the multiverse done, that's where the scene ends. The Flash post-credits scene establishes two important elements for setting up Aquaman 2. First, having Momo appear as Arthur Curry confirms the actor is still set to play Aquaman ahead of the release of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom in December. This ensures there's little confusion about where that sequel fits into the franchise, since it's been confirmed to be part of the new timeline Barry created when he went back in time and helped his father win his appeal. Of course, there are still rumors and speculation that Momo might take on a new role in the DC Universe, but for now, it's known for certain he will be Aquaman at least through the release of the sequel. The second key element the Flash post-credits scene establishes is that Momoa is still Aquaman and still has all the powers and Atlantean trinkets that come along with that title. Since audiences see Arthur breathe underwater briefly, it's confirmed the character is still the version known from his past appearances, rather than an alternate version without powers, given Arthur Curry in the alternate timeline was a dog. It's possible Barry could have changed aspects of Aquaman even after setting the timeline mostly back to the way it was. After all, he managed to change Batman, it wouldn't be a stretch to think he'd changed other members of the Justice League, too. The Flash post-credits scene confirms not only that Momoa is still Arthur Curry, but he's also Aquaman. This sets the stage for Aquaman too.
which hits theaters in December. The Flash post-credits scene establishes that Jason Momoa's Aquaman could be in James Gunn's DC Universe, since he hasn't been written out of existence like Ben Affleck's Batman. Earlier this year, Momoa teased Aquaman's future in the DC Universe, saying, I absolutely think Aquaman will be involved in the DCU. The actor also talked about how he's worked with Saffron as a producer and the two are friends. Given his relationship with the DC Studios co-CEO and his positive update on Aquaman's possible future, it seems likely Momoa's superhero could continue as part of the DC Universe. That said, it's unclear how, if at all, Aquaman would fit into the DC Universe plan for Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters. In terms of what was announced, there are no obvious movies or shows in which Momoa's Aquaman could appear. Further, Aquaman 3 has not yet been announced and it's unclear whether a third movie in the franchise is on the table. So, while there might be potential for Momo and Aquaman to continue in the DC Universe, how that could happen is not yet clear. To make matters more complicated, there's been speculation Momo could take on the role of Lobo in Gunn's DC Universe, the character the actor has voiced his desire to play for many years, while a case could be made for Momo to play both roles in the DCU. It's likely that the actor becoming Lobo would signal an end for his Aquaman. Or, of course, he could continue playing Aquaman instead of Lobo. More will become clear after Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom releases later this year. Until then, it's confirmed Momoa is still Aquaman, and has the potential to continue playing Arthur Curry in Gunn's DC Universe after his appearance in the Flash post-credits scene.